In this video, I will be explaining phylogenetic trees by making my own example of one from a collection of different shoes that I have. First, I want to explain what phylogenetics is. Phylogenetics is the study of the relationship between species, individuals, or genes alleles based on their characteristics. People make phylogenetic trees to infer common ancestry between organisms and how they have evolved. There are two types of evolutionary change, anagenesis and cladogenesis. Anagenesis is the evolution within a lineage over time. For example, there is fossil evidence of giraffes with short necks. Now giraffes have long necks to eat leaves off of trees, or some people argue that they have stretched their necks over generations, but that's besides the point. Giraffes evolving to have long necks is an example of anagenesis. On the other hand, cladogenesis is when one lineage splits into two. This happens due to a variety of reasons such as selective mating, adaptation, environmental disasters, etc. Cladogenesis can be in, illustrated through a rooted tree. A rooted tree is when the order of divergence in the tree is known and based on the similarities between OTUs and their outgroup. Now I'm going to explain a rooted phylogenetic tree that I made from shoes. This tree is an example of cladogenesis because of the different types of shoes that have split and evolved from one lineage. Here we have our OTUs on the top. OTUs are operational taxonomic units, which is just a fancy phrase for the different species, or in this case, shoes, that we compare in phylogenetic trees. All of these OTUs stem from an outgroup that I have here on the left. The outgroup is the root of the tree that diverged earlier than all of the other OTUs and serves as a common ancestor. In this example, the outgroup is the classic black sneaker because every shoe has some connection to it. The black sneaker diverges into casual and dressy shoes, and then the casual and dressy shoes diverge into open and closed-toed shoes. The casual closed-toed shoes in include my lifestyle sneakers and high-top sneakers. The casual open-toed shoes include my Birkenstocks or sandals and my jacks or flip-flops. At the right of the tree are my dressy shoes. The dressy open-toed shoes include my platform sandals and my heels, and then the dressy closed-toed shoes are my beauties and flats. These categories are connected by internal nodes, which represent a common ancestor that existed before divergence. For example, this node is the most recent common ancestor of my dressy closed and dressy open-toed shoes. This ancestor could be my peep-toe booties. These are my references.